Welcome back, ladies and gents. We are here. The fish are still noisy. All that fun stuff. Back with episode episode two of Seopolis. Um, nothing too crazy, but I did do a little bit here, kind of sort of off the cam, off the camera. Um, one of those is we got enough stone and dirt for 64 of each. And I kind of remembered, I'm like, oh yeah, we, there's other things here that we can do, right? Like we need 64 of each log, right? Pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy. But then I saw the patterns and I remembered in my brain, I remembered, you know, brain things, um, that Tinker's Construct is in the back. Indeed. So I was thinking to myself, let's do a little bit of that, right? Why not? Let's get ourselves some patterns. Um, I think we need like 32 or something like that of these guys. So quite a few to say the least. And what are we out there? 27, boom, 32. Nice. So there's that quest done as well. And that'll be really useful. These patterns obviously can do a lot of different things, including, you know, the modified chest. You got your tinker station, which is three. And you got your part builder, which is two. And then the crafting station as well. So let's, least but not least, last but not least, let's make a couple of these guys as well. There's our tinker station. And there is our part builder. Very good. And on top of all of that, I guess we could do that one. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to nod at the moment. I guess we can. Why, why not, right? It's just a little bit more wood. No big deal. No big deal. All right, we got that. We got that. We got this. And this. Beautiful. Part chest. Awesome. Okay, so we just completed a whole bunch of quests. Uh, just like this and now we can make ourselves basically a you know some wooden tools and stone pickaxe head very cool I also noticed that we have storage drawers um, so that's pretty cool we got I made myself a one item drawer over yonder you can see it's holding the dirt um, we can finish that one up pretty easily as well it's just a little bit more wood um, nothing crazy there so a little bit of progression that's good uh, let's where am I doing this? I guess we'll do it here? Question mark? Um, you know what? Let's put them down over here for right now. We'll do the tinker station, that, and the parts chest, just like that. Good. You know what? Actually, um, am I good on this? GI scale? Yeah. Yeah. Full screen resolution? Yeah. I guess that's okay. FOV 85? That's what I like. Oh, geez. Hit the wrong button. We're saving world. It's okay. We needed to save anyways, right? It's always good to save. Remember to save. Remember to back up. Do all that fun stuff. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, man. The joys. The joys. Accidentally hitting save and quit. Three minutes into a video. What else could possibly go wrong? <laughs> no. All things considered, it's pretty quick to get back in. It'd be worse if I closed out of the mod pack. Oh, that would be terrible. Anyways, we're back in action. Uh, the nice thing is, is there is all of this, right? So Tinker's changed a little bit. Um, in the part builder, there's no longer a stencil table. But what you can do is you can actually add in like, you know, an oak plank, for example, and say, okay, which item do you want, right? Wooden tool handle, you know, this is the large handle. It'll basically turn it red and tell you what you need if you need to go a different route, right, um, for some of this stuff. So, you know, I can go, okay, I need a wooden tool handle. Cool. I need a, you know, let's get a, do I need a tool binding? Let's see. If I'm going to do a pickaxe. Yeah, of course I do, right? Same old, same old. Cool. Awesome. And then, I guess, what do we need for this? We need two, two stone for a stone pickaxe head. Let's do it. Let's do it, right? Get that done. And let's see, what did we do for quests here? So we did this. Oh, you got to do a wooden pickaxe head first. Oh, fine then. Fine then, game. Okay. Boom. Wooden pickaxe head. Very good. 
And there's the stone one as well. Awesome stuff. And then like like any other, you know, tinker stuff, we just kind of blitz it in there, get ourselves a nice new stone pickaxe. Shazam, shazam, and away we go. Just like that, right? Um, I'm going to throw these in there. I'm also thinking I should make myself... Let's get... Uh, what do I need for a hatchet? Or a hand axe, I guess is what they call it now. Uh, we'll do this. We'll do this. We'll do two of those. Beautiful. And let's get ourselves a hand axe. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. All right. So we've kind of upped our tools. We completed the entire tinkers section. We're nice and green there. Uh, I'm not going to worry about storage drawers. That's pretty straightforward. Let's jump back into our wooden tech, right? There's a lot going on here. You know, these sponges would be pretty cool. But let's uh, work on the next one here, the strainer base. And as you can see, I've kind of cheated a little bit by getting ahead of the pace. And I also did a little bit of farming so I can actually make two of these strainer bases. And there's a reason for that, and we'll go into it right away. So first things first, we need to make ourselves a standard survivalist strainer. And then we also made ourselves a fisherman strainer. Okay, kind of jumping ahead, as you can see. But these are really kind of sort of some of the ways that you can progress in the pack. It's how you get things, right? Which is pretty darn handy. Now, how do we get water in these things, right? I think what I'm going to do... Mm, do we want to try to swim it up? We could just try to swim it up, right? Maybe. Maybe. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Super duper scared. We have all these guys too on the surface. That's wonderful. Hi, how's it going? This is our first time on surface, ladies and gents. Um, yeah, they can stay there, right? Yeah, they'll, they'll be fine. All right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go boom there and there. Nice. So water strainers do need water to be in the strainer portion. So they need to technically be underwater. And then you kind of slap in the strainers just like that. And what it does is... It'll tell you if there's problems detected, it'll start working, all that kind of stuff. We are missing bait, okay? So we need to get ourselves some bait. So let's go back down and get ourselves some of that. Quickly, quickly. Nailed it. Can't touch this. Do, 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 do. Um, ooh. You know what? I'm going to farm a little bit more uh, string here. Just because I think these worms, if I remember correctly, these guys turn into our worm bait that we need. So we're going to just kind of do, 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 grow. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're all good. Let's silkworm them up. Because you do get more silkworms. They do like to breed off one another. Um, in case you didn't know the, you know, in true nature of the silkworm. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so we'll get that guy going. That'll give us more little worms and things like that. And from there, the survivalist strainer is going to get us a whole bunch of different things, right? So uh, click to view recipes, and it'll show you everything that you're going to get from it. So we're going to get some sticks, nautilus shells, strings, seagrass, sponges themselves come from it, turtle eggs, leather, glass bottles, you know, a lot of really useful things are going to come from that strainer. And this guy here is going to obviously get ourselves, you know, a decent amount of fish uh, and different types of things along those lines. So that's pretty cool too. So we'll get ourselves all of this. That's good. We'll get some leather, which can give us a couple of other fun things. And then the sponge line as well. And kind of sort of complete this whole thing. Uh, I'm kind of thinking we should make a flopper soon uh but it kind of is what it is these guys are doing these guys are done right i think i think i think yeah it looks pretty done to me looks pretty done to me okay let's get ourselves a quick little crook here like that this should give us enough string for a while anyways um 
and our whole thing. And then, yeah, boom. Boom, with the new hand axe. Oh, yeah. Getting its work in. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Good stuff overall. We got ourselves some more string. But most importantly, what I was looking for was the worms, the bait um, that we get from that guy right there. Let's take a little snooze. We'll make it all nice and pretty outside. And then we got to get back out there. I really wish there was a easier way. I mean, you know what? Let's have a little bit of fun. Let's have a little bit of fun with these sea bucks, right? Let's get ourselves some flippers, right? Submit. Beautiful. Okay. We'll get ourselves some fins. We'll get ourselves some flippers. Hopefully that'll make us, you know, swim a little faster. There are some bad things in these waters. So um, I'd like to kind of start swimming, please. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Good. All right. We're, we made it. We made it. We're okay. We're okay. All right. So what do we got so far? We did get a sponge. So I'm just going to grab that and throw it in the inventory, right? Because as you get things um, from that, you can kind of just throw it down in the inventory and away you go on unlocking additional things. So sponge on a stick is literally just sponge and a stick. Um, nothing crazy there. So let's get that guy going. Huzzah. Good. And then I think this one is like nine of those. Ugh. Ugh. That's not so great. <laughs> That's not so great. Um, just like I think that there was a compressed hammer, wasn't there? I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we need more sticks for that. For sure. There we go. Uh, let's do nine here. Like that. And like that. Boom, nine stone hammers. This guy turns into this guy, like so. And now we can actually hammer compressed stones as well. Oh yeah, we are grooving. We are moving. Look at that, right there. Uh, sea junk, kind of accepting one of each of those. We got our fish. Those will come right away. Hostile mobs though. That one's a little tougher. And the wood. We got to do the wood too, so that's a bit of a pain. But actually, I mean, now that we're up here, it's not that much of a pain, is it? If I bring some grass up, I can grow some trees up here, can't I? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Um, excuse me? No, 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 no. That's very bad. Very, very bad. Okay, let's do this. And let's get ourselves back into our little safe bubble. Hiya. Guardians. Guardians are trouble. All right. So we got ourselves a little sponge on a stick. Uh, we'll let those guys run a little bit longer as well. Might as, might as well let them kick it for a little bit. And uh, in the meantime, we got some other things that we can do. So one of the things I would like to get for dirt, I think... Um, and then we can get ourselves the four dark oak saplings, because that's one of the ones we've barely grown. And you know what? Let's take a few more sticks out of here. Oh, we got a crook in here as well. That's useful. And what else do we really truly require here? Um, I don't think we need too much else. I mean, acacia is a bit of a pain. We could grow that one up there as well, I guess. Uh, why do I not see acacia saplings? Am I blind? Jungle? Oh, they're literally right beside the acacia. Way to go, man. Way to go. Um, let's take out these patterns. Let's extend the life there as well. I think we build a little bit of a tree farm up there. The problem is, like, spruce, we don't have to worry about spruce. I don't want to do a 2x2 two two spruce. I also don't want to do a 2x2 two two jungle. So let's farm ourselves a little jungle in here first, and then we'll worry about the rest um, as we go. Come on. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Grow. I find the crouching just is super duper slow um, overall. So I do recommend running around. I wish that there was a bit more space to run around in. But that's okay. Okay, we'll do that. 
we'll do that very nice and you know what i might as well hook these crook these hook these crooked hooked there we go get a little bit of extra here and then we can blast the rest like so good 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 as long as we get you know uh, at least enough saplings back. I'm mainly after the logs here. Just while we wait for our strainers to kind of do their thing. Um, you can also kind of run down here a little bit if you want. And then it should... Oh no, I guess not. I thought I was far close enough, but apparently not. Um, I'd probably make it so that I am close enough in the future though. That I think would be a good improvement. Okay, let's get ourselves another crook, uh, just so we have it. And let's get ourselves this last tree growing. Come on, come on tree. You know you want to grow. You know you want to. Come on, let's go. Let's go tree. Come on. No, you don't want to grow, hey? Doesn't want to grow fine it's fine we'll just do this and give it a bit more room to breathe and we'll start chopping no big deal i'm just gonna start chopping these things down uh as i go and then we'll be back uh we'll check on our strainer bases and uh see where we're at on the tree front as well all right so uh i got myself the 64 jungle logs which is great um these guardians are a bit of a problem up here. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm glad that those ones are kind of going away. Um, what I'm going to do quickly as well, uh, just while we're up here, let's do this. And let's throw down a quick little oak chest. Nothing too crazy here. Uh, but I can store like some spare worms. And let's pull out some of these items as well. Just so that we can kind of sort of have them um if you know what i mean so we'll do this put away you know some of these items here uh there is a crafting recipe of this no is it like this yeah bait pot very nice um uh, it uh decreases your bait consumption which is pretty cool happy about that dolphin no bring me those shells dolphin bring me the loot good dolphin Good work, Dolphin. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So now that we're up here, though, let's go like so. And let's get ourselves um, a little platform here. And our dark oak growing. I'm not too happy that it's becoming nighttime. I can tell you that much, but it'll be fine. There we go. There we go. And I do want to crook this guy because... Haha, <laughs> saplings. Dark oak saplings, right? We've all been there, haven't we? You get there and it's like, oh yeah, I'm going to chop down this tree and totally get more. And then what happens? Nothing. Get nothing. Nada. Zilch. Um, yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. I think we've all experienced it at some point in time. Um, but yeah, so far so good. A lot of good uh, little things. I am curious. Uh, did we get... So we got that... I still haven't gotten leather or a glass bottle yet, though, hey? And we don't have all of the sea junk. I need a saddle, and I need a puffer fish. A puffer fish. We haven't gotten a saddle or a puffer fish. Okay. I mean, I mean, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, not a big deal. But anyways, that's good. We got ourselves. Let's put some worms in there as well, and let's go like this. To get ourselves even more of this stuff. It's nighttime. It doesn't look like there's much of a threat around us as of right now. So we'll just farm these up and get ourselves good to go. Oh, come here. No, no. Rip. Rip. Rip that stuff. Voila. Come here, Wood. Nope. You are coming with me. Um. Okay, so there we go. We got our 64 dark oak logs, and we got a ton of saplings, which is awesome. Very happy about that. And still no pufferfish or saddle, so I guess we'll have to come back for those items. Oh man, creeper, enderman. 
Dude, that Enderman would be so spicy to grab. But he's just going to fall in the water and start teleporting around. And I sense a bad thing, uh, simply put. Yeah, I think, I think that would be a bad idea. There we go. There's a little bit of leather. That's nice. Um, I think from there we can get ourselves a book. Is that correct? Um, according to this guy right here, wooden tack that into a book or a backpack or a bedroll. Okay. Okay. So that, yeah, okay. We can make the paper out of sawdust. That would work fine. The backpack requires quite a bit more. Um, so maybe I'll save up. Oh, there's our saddle as well. Very good. Uh, we'll just kind of throw this stuff in here. I do like that these mobs are not currently moving towards us. That is very, very helpful. Um, they can stay exactly where they are. That would be grand. Uh, Dolphin, bring me, bring me my loot. Bring it over here, buddy. Play with it. Bring it, bring it to me. Good job. Good job, little guy. Good job. All right. Uh, what did the glass bottle do for us? It's scaring me. Um, oh, no. I didn't want to bookmark something. All right. So we can do a potion of water breathing. That might be useful. Water bottles with that. Okay. And the Sea Bucks coffee, which is just a glass bottle with that. That seems like a waste of a sea buck, but we'll do it. We'll do it. It's fine. I think we might as well pick these up now that the dolphin brought them closer to us. Might as well. Might as well. Okay. All right. How are we doing? We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. There's our puffer fish. Very good. Another item complete. And yeah, we still got a lot of uses and stuff like that left. I'm going to jump back down into our base. Oh boy. Ow, 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 ow. Stop it. Oh, that was a guardian. That would have hurt. That would have hurt pretty bad. Pretty darn bad. Anyways, let's sleep it off and... Uh, oh God, the little flippers. I love it. Flippers sticking up. Take your flippers off before you go to bed. Didn't your mama teach you? You gotta take off your flippers? <laughs> oh, man. Good times. So, there's still a few more crafts to do and things like that. I just accepted all the quests. You know, there's lots that we can kind of do, um, which is great. Uh, valid for any items or upgrade bedroll. All right. Sure. Cool. Um, I don't really know what the basic one is. There it is. Okay. Standard bedroll. Five leather and a wool. Yikes. Okay. Um, on the go sleeping. Useful. I mean, a book is pretty easy. The Akashish Tome, that's going to require four books. So really quite reliant on leather and sponges at this point. But there are a couple of outlier quests here that I do want to kind of just get wrapped up. Let's get our flopper. This thing actually transfers fluid around, which is pretty cool. And the other one that I want to get is the factory. Um, factory is very interesting. I believe it's like an auto compression. Like you can kind of set a recipe and, and let it run with some inventory and things like that. It's pretty cool. Um, overall, you get some GUI uh, interfaces and things like that. And one of the really other nice things to use is maybe a block type that you don't really love, like whether you like granite, diorite, andesite, you know, those types of things. You can actually use those to repair your standard stone tool head tools. So pretty useful to uh, kind of use up some of your unwanted <laughs> as bad as it sounds uh, but yeah it's a thing it's a thing all right here we go and we're up again up onto the surface let's roll like a boss we are back up here living the dream getting some fresh air you know all that fun stuff there is a recipe here that i wanted to uh grab some fish for and this guy boom 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 i think this is it Oops, I forgot the glass bottle. Did I 
Hello? Glass bottle? I mean, we have another one, so that's good. Um, but yeah. Anyways, glass bottle. Let's, uh, do, 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 do. We'll put this away, put that away. Put away some of this as well. And let's make ourselves the water breathing potion. I think it's in here somewhere. Or not. Or it's just not in there at all. Why is it not in there? Oh, it might be a water bottle. A water bottle. It might be a bottle of water. There it is. Yeah, potion of water breathing. Water bottle with the water bowls. And all that jazz. So let's get this quest done as well. There we go. Boom. Boom. Oops. Boom. 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 Very nice. There we go. Water breathing potion. Very good. Pretty, I mean, all things considered, that's a good recipe. I actually like that recipe quite a bit. It's not that expensive, but it's expensive enough that you're not just going to waste them. Right? So I, I like that. I don't mind that at all. Um, what else do we have here? We obviously have more worms. Let's top that off while we're up here. We have lots of fish, so our food is really in quite a nice spot. Uh, Nautilus shell, I mean, that is really expensive. Coral stone, interesting. Just different blocks, that's cool, that's cool. Um, we have a turtle egg, obviously, to grow, to get turtles. That's good. Um, we only, we've only gotten one additional sponge, which isn't the best. Oh, two additional sponges. Um, so we can get ourselves at least a couple more of those. But yeah, really, we were kind of just in the waiting game at the moment to get more leather and things like that. We have 72 uses left on that guy. Uh, so we'll, I mean, I'm going to AFK and pretty much let these guys roll. And uh, we'll... We'll see how we how we do and what we get overall, but it's looking pretty good. I like it. I like it. We're doing pretty good stuff. You know what? I might even farm up some acacia while I wait uh, inside my nice little comfy base here. So I'll farm up some acacia. I think that's one of the last things that I need in for our wood. Yeah, it's acacia. I don't know... Hostile mobs will spawn around 24 blocks away from you. Mob farm? I guess? Maybe? Um, anyways, I'm going to get Acacia. I'm going to let those things farm. I might even farm a whole nother set. And uh, maybe I'll also fulfill the storage drawers situation as well. Um, but, and maybe we can clean up some storage on it too. Yeah, next time we will have all of the Acacia done... Uh, storage drawers, all of that kind of stuff done. I'll probably farm some more dirt while we're at it, and uh, hopefully every have everything we need uh, to kind of proceed at that point in time. So, thank you all so much for watching this episode. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you learned a few things if you're playing along, and uh, have yourselves a good one. Bye-bye for now.